Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about the reasons why you should become a plumber or why you should even look into the plumbing field. You know, ever since I became a plumber, my life has completely changed. I absolutely love this field that I'm into. I love my career. I love what I'm doing on a daily basis. I love the fact that I'm able to go out there and have fun and meet different people. You know, it's, it's such a rewarding career to be in. And there's so many opportunities that come along with it. And I'm going to touch on some of those things here in this video. So the first thing that I think is the big reason why you should become a plumber or even look into this field is because of the skill set that you're going to gain from this. You know, you're going to get a skill that you'll have for the rest of your life. And also, you're getting a skill that you can take anywhere in the world with you and essentially get a job in and not have to worry about it too much. And thirdly, you know, you can monetize this skill. Once you learn how to do plumbing and, you know, learn the things that come along with being a plumber, you can go out there and make your own money doing it. And that's how you monetize it. So that's the, the really good benefit of it. Uh, one of the other points is the opportunities that come with being a plumber in the plumbing field. So once you once you get in there and you learn how to do some plumbing and you kind of figure out your way or, around the field a little bit, there's going to be a lot of doors and opportunities that are going to present themselves to you. And these things are going to be career changing moves such as, you know, becoming a manager or just getting into sales or maybe you want to run heavy equipment, you know, whatever it is. I mean, there's a ton of different things that you can do. And those are just some of the basic things. You know, if you get in a union, there, that's a whole other opportunity that you'll have. Uh, working at different institutions for, for them is another opportunity as well, too. So there's a lot of things that come with it just in the plumbing field. So you'll be able to easily make a career change and to change the course that you're on, maybe find something that works better for your lifestyle or your situation. You know, the other thing is that aside from there being opportunities in the plumbing field that present themselves, there's going to be opportunities outside of plumbing. So like on your day-to-day -day basis, you're going to be dealing and talking with different people and, and going to different places. And what this is going to do is going to open your mind up a little bit and allow you to connect with other people and to learn different things and be able to create new ideas and also some of these people are going to present opportunities to you where you can make a career change totally outside of plumbing and make the same amount of money or better money or, you know, it just might allow you to do things differently that fit your lifestyle better. What you can do is once you have this skill, you can go out there and make money with it, right? You now have the opportunity to have your own plumbing business. And this is where the real money rolls in. Because when you're working for somebody, and we'll use Ohio as an example because this is where I live at, you know, you'll start off making around $30,000 a year. On average, you know, after four or five years, you'll be making around $60,000 a year. And then depending on the path that you take as a plumber, or where you stay and, and where you move up and go, you can make $100,000 plus. You know, you're probably not going to make much more than one hundred and twenty or one hundred and fifty out here if you're working for somebody and depend on exactly what you're doing. But if you get into your own business, there's no cap to how much money you can make. It's really just going to come down to you and how determined you are and how good of a plumber and how good of a businessman you are. That's going to determine the cap on your ceiling versus that cap that those jobs put you at. So that's the, the real big outside opportunity that I like about it. The other reason, though, that I think you should look at becoming a plumber is because of the schooling that's involved. So you don't have to go to college and get a two-year, four-year, or six-year degree and have all this student loan debt on top of your head just to become a plumber. You know, this is a field that you can jump right into. Doesn't matter your age. Doesn't really matter if you're a boy or a girl. You know, this field is set up for everybody. And I'm serious. I'm talking if you're as young as 10 years old, you can start learning it. And if you're as old as 60 years old or even older than that, it's something that you can start learning. Because this is a skill that you'll be able to use anywhere. And, um, you know, you'll have it forever. And you'll be able to monetize it. So you can start at any age. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but back to the point is, the schooling that's involved. You don't need college. Uh, what you should do, though, is look into a trade school. But typically, a trade school or an apprenticeship program, is this is going to be paid for by a company that you're working at. 
you know, if they think you're a good enough employee, they'll send you to school for free. Now, you might have to do a four-year apprenticeship program or a trade program, but what will happen is you'll be able to get more pay as you move along through that program. And by the time you're done with it, if you go out and get licensed, you can even get more pay because you'll be more valuable to the company that you're working for. And that's one of the other biggest things to me is just the fact that you don't have to go to college because everybody pushes college. They don't tell you about the student loan debt. And they don't really tell you about the other opportunities that are out there. Whereas you could jump into plumbing, you know, here in Ohio and start off making $30,000 a year. And by the time your friends are done with college, you're already making $60,000 a year. And just because you go to college and get a degree doesn't necessarily guarantee you a job. Now, you can also, if you really want to, if you want to be smart about something, you can go to college for something that you want to pursue. But part-time while you're in school, become a become a plumber a part-time plumber work for a little company that's willing to train you and allow you to do little jobs here and there and now you you'll have a college degree and you'll have a skill and you'll be able to you know bounce around and do different things and that'll really be helpful to yourself my final point though is going to be job security and once you become a plumber you'll realize how high a demand we are in in this country and there's no real threat to our job security right now and there hasn't been for a very long time and it goes back to the schooling everybody's been promoting going to college and we haven't been promoting trade programs so there there's a huge shortage of tradesmen out there especially plumbers you know a lot of plumbers are getting old they're retiring and there's not enough young people to replace them so you have all these handymen who are out there picking up these jobs and making the money that we should be out there making so job security is at an all-time high you know, like I've stated before, I could call my boss right now and tell him I quit and I'll have a job by tomorrow. And it could very easily be the same for you. As long as you're a decent plumber, you know how to present yourself to people and you know what you're doing, you'll have a job like that. It'll be no problem. And that's one of the greatest things about it too. So like I said, you know, you've got a skill that you're going to have with you forever and you'll be able to take anywhere in the world. You'll be able to monetize that skill. You don't have to pay for schooling to become a plumber. There's going to be a ton of opportunities, not only in the plumbing field, but outside of the plumbing field where you can make more money or do different things that fit your lifestyle better. And you don't have to worry about looking for a job. And those are the biggest key takeaways from it. And that's why I really advocate for you going out, looking into the trade programs and seeing what it's all about and looking specifically at the plumbing trade programs because it's a great thing to get into. You know, if it's something that, you know, you're a mechanical person, and you're a creative thinker, this is definitely something you'll enjoy. And I think you'll, your life is really going to change once you become a plumber. So check it out. I appreciate you checking out my vid. Y'all have a good one.